I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Well, a couple years ago, I came up with this harebrained idea. I was going to use something that I picked up on uh, <laughs> the poor man's flea market day. Yeah, there were things sitting out along the road and, and uh, a lot of junk. And wasn't necessarily good junk, but I looked at it and I thought, well, maybe I can make something out of one or two of these things. I ended up bringing home a whole truckload of stuff. And the thing I'm going to show you today was part of that truckload. Odd little combination of stuff. I'll show you how it works. This is a lawn edger. You use it to trim the grass around your sidewalk and your driveway and kind of trims up grass. Well, it originally came with this four-lobed steel blade that was supposed to just slice through the sod so that you could peel it away from the edge of the driveway and edge of the sidewalk. And I tried it and it worked. And I said, wow, I got the engine running and everything worked good. And I thought, that, that's really great. Well, then I got to looking at it and I thought, you know, I wonder what would happen if I put a carbide saw blade on the front of it. Well, this is what happens.
rips that stump apart like nobody's business. The only problem is it makes your hands numb and you can only run it for like five minutes at a time and your hands re get really sore. When I'm working on a maple stump or a pine stump, it doesn't vibrate anywhere near as much. This is uh, mulberry and mulberry is like a second cousin to Osage Orange. It's hard, hard stuff to cut. Up until now, I've only cut tiny roots and a few small pine tree stumps. Cutting pine tree stumps doesn't seem to bother it at all. This doesn't bother it, it just rattles the crap out of my teeth. So it's a lot of work doing this. But I want to try one little thing more. I got one side of this stump that's still trying to grow. See this spot right here? I got one branch on it. I want to cut that crap off.
Now when I build it, I thought, uh, this blade's not gonna last long, you know. This is the blade off my 10 inch table saw. I gave the table saw to my son. And I had one blade left over. And I put it onto the edger. And I made this wobble plate. It makes it so that the blade wobbles side to side and cuts about a well about an inch and a quarter's width notch every time it cuts. When I first made it, I, I just put the regular blade on it just to see what it would do. And it, it cut, but it cut a little eighth inch wide thing and it didn't remove as much material as I wanted it to do. Now it gets after that stump. And it, it cuts. It cuts like the Dickens. Now that stump over there is half rotted. This stump is still trying to be alive. It still had a few suckers growing up off of it. So cutting away that side should get rid of the suckers. And I'll come back out and hit this again tomorrow. And just go after it a few minutes a day so that I don't end up wearing myself or it out prematurely. But considering I got it from the junk pile alongside the road, brought it home, one pull, it started. And been running ever since. Changed out that blade, put this thing on it, it eats stumps and roots. I mean, I could probably hire somebody to come in and rent and chew that stump out of there, but it cost me 250 bucks. If you have any suggestions for new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or the legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.